opportunity God has given me to stand before you the living and eternal word of God. Our plan is not God's plan. Our thoughts are not God's thoughts. According to the plan that was scheduled for this week, I will supposed to speak Saturday morning here. But, uh, Member of our church and the chapel, as all of you may have heard, I went to be with the Lord. Uh, Therefore, I contacted Pastor Thomas and said, unfortunately, I will not be able to make it uh, to this particular circumstances. So uh, he encouraged me to come and thank God, the servant of God and the leadership for. Uh, Allow me to come this evening to share the word of God with you. We make many plans. We make many plans. But the Lord has given us a time to plan. Uh, 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 Depending on what our habits and our thoughts are. We plan for education, we plan for families, and we plan for grandchildren. In the midst of all this planning, we do not plan to stay in the house and spend time with God. We plan to 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 church and they make this opportunity for us to pause and give thanks to God and fast and pray and to draw close to God. Turn with me to the book of Isaiah. Uh, chapter 1 verse 9. Uh, Isaiah chapter 9 verse 4. For us in the day of Midian's defeat, you have shattered the yoke that burdens them, the power that crossed their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor. Let us close our eyes and pray. Our Father, our Father, our Father, our Father, our Father, our Father, Father, God, we who are unworthy servants, called by you and into the ministry, we ask that you speak with, through us this day for your glory. We who are here this day, O oh God, and you bless us, send forth from this place, rejoicing and celebrating in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I also pray that each of you will pray for uh, Jody and I, that we will be the center of God's will, and that our end will be better than our beginning. <laughs> Here the book of Isaiah chapter 9 is a very powerful prophetic uh, chapter in the Bible. It, it talks about the redemption through the Messiah. And the people who walk in the darkness will come into light through the to the mighty servant of God. And the words that which you read on that day in the Bible will be a testimony to you and your children. And the the day of the Midianites. And the the And in order for you to understand what that battle of the Midianites, this particular passage is talking about, we must turn to the book of Judges. Chapter 4 to 6. When we read chapter 1, we read that uh, God is going to send out the Midianites to fight against the Midianites. And we read chapter 5 and verse 6 and verse 7 and verse 8. Genesis chapter 25. But his descendants became bitter enemies with the people of God. Listen to me. 
Later on, we realize that the Midianites became a strong nation by the time of the book of Judges, they began to oppress the people of God. Two of them. Now, 
ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്നു
be seated. God came down and uh, took that, uh, took that, took the skin of an animal and it covered them. And I'm carrying the evil man and evil nature. Or if we get into the thorn, we will get a piece of our car. Master man, that. And then uh, he said in his hometown. 